In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a coloring book using AI. So as we move into 2025, coloring books are still a very popular niche on Amazon KDP. And did you know that with the help of AI, you can create these books really easily? All you need to do is find a niche that you're interested in and then create that coloring book using AI. So if we come onto Amazon, we can see some examples. So all I've done here is search for coloring books for adults relaxation. And you can see that there are over 30,000 results. And so this is called a broad niche because it's not going in on one particular topic. It's just looking at coloring books for adults relaxation. And so that's why there's so much competition for this search term. But if you were to look at something like cats, dogs, sports, anything that's a little bit more niched down, you'll have less competition and then you'll have more chance to make those sales. And what I hear a lot of people saying is that coloring books are too saturated on Amazon KDP and you can't make money. Well, that's just not true. Yes, it is definitely hard and I've had a lot of books that haven't done so well, but I have one book that ranks really well and gets me hundreds of dollars every single month organically. And so if we take a look at that here, I don't run any ads now to this book and it just sells organically every month. And so this book, as you can see here, is getting between $400 and $550 every month. And I launched this over a year ago and it's still going really strong. You can see there the sales are still steady every month. And then what normally happens is in November and December, those sales also skyrocket a bit because people will buy it for gifts. So this one book in its lifetime has made me over $8,000. And you can see down there the December spike where it made over $1,600 in a single month. So that shows you that, you know, coloring books can make money on Amazon KDP. I've got one that I've made here that shows exactly that. And this is an AI coloring book as well. And that's why I wanted to show you how you can create them for yourself. But the one caveat that I will throw out there is if you're creating low quality books, you're not putting time and effort into creating a beautiful cover, then you're likely not gonna sell many copies at all. So you need to create really nice coloring pages. You need to work on that front cover to make it stand out. And then you probably need to utilize advertising as well to help launch your book. But that's all stuff that we can deal with in the future. For now, we need to look at how we actually create our AI coloring book. And for that, I use Design AI. So Design AI is a great text to image AI tool. And it's become my favorite for multiple reasons. But if we go onto the platform now, I'll show you how it works. Taking a quick look at the pricing, just to get that out of the way so you know how much it's gonna cost. You can try it for free, which is a great way to just play around and see if you like it. But then the beginner, if you pay annually, is $7 per month. Now that is really affordable for an AI tool. And for that, you get 1,000 FastQ credits per month and you get all of the private generations, you get all of your exports, your edits, everything that you could ever need. And then going up a tier to the creator tier, you get things like SVG downloads, which allows you to scale the images, you know, if you wanna print them, if you wanna sell them as SVGs on Etsy, the creator option is for you. It also gives you more fast hours, but either way, I think Design AI is a very affordable tool. Now coming onto the homepage, it looks a little bit like this. And at the top, you can see some of the projects that I've made so far, but here in the middle are your AI tools. So you can use so many things like image to image, text to image, image to video, which is a new one that they've included. You can edit areas, and there's loads of additional things that you can do there. But for coloring books, it's really simple. We wanna use a text to image generator. So if we click on text to image, we are introduced with a canvas. And so one of the great things about design AI is that you can set the size of your canvas for yourself. So let's say you know you're doing 8.5 by 11 inch book. All you need to do there is create a custom workspace and that is set up in the exact right scale of what you need for your books. Now to get going with your image generations on Design AI, there's some amazing style presets that you can utilize. And so clicking on this tab here, you can see all of the different styles. And so you can see here, you've got no styles, so you can remove any stylization, but the style presets are really, really useful. And for coloring books, if we come down to line art, we can see some of the presets here. So you've got things like dashed lines, line art, simple playful, which would be good for things like kids coloring books, 
you've got the generic colouring books, you've got sketches, and you've got linescapes. So the main ones that you'd probably utilise on here are the colouring book style, the simple playful style, and then I really like the line art style as well. Why I love the line art is it tends to remove any shading, so it creates those simple and clean lines. Whereas things like colouring books might include some shading. So if we click on the line art style, I'll generate a few images for you to have a look at. So all you need to do is in the prompt box is enter your prompt. Now, if you've not done this before, just imagine you're telling the computer what you want it to generate. So include the description, make sure you include things like what color background you want it to have, any information on the line thickness, any information on what's actually in the image. So here, for example, I've put Santa in hat, wearing sunglasses with a cool elf, snowy background, white background. Now see, that's not written in the best way, right? But hopefully it will still generate some great results. And so here are the first two results that it's created. And whilst it's not added an elf in, I could keep going to try and generate that, but just straight away, these are really nice. And I didn't describe, you know, what age range I wanted it for, how complex the line art was that I wanted. So to get these results straight away is absolutely brilliant. And so here I've got a pretty cool looking Santa. I double clicked it to place it on our canvas. And what I can do is just move it about to make it a little bit more centered. And there's this AI eraser tool here. So say if there's an imperfection in this image, instead of having to take it into another photo editing software and you know delete the lines, you can actually do that directly in Design AI by using this AI eraser tool. So that is great for deleting small imperfections, say like if you wanted to delete that line on the hat. All you do is select the AI eraser tool, delete it, and then it would generate an image without that line. And so that can be really helpful to save you time, save you effort, and to make sure that the coloring pages are really high quality. But let's say that we like this image. All you need to do is click Save as Image. So with the free option, you can download it at just single upscale and you can download it as a JPEG. And all of the images will have a watermark on it. So that's a great way to allow you to test things, see what you make of Design AI. But just to start with, I'll download that and you can see what it looks like. So here we go, it has a watermark on the bottom right. But here is your image. And you saw how easy and simple it was. That was my first generation for this prompt. I got almost exactly what I was looking for. And now I'm gonna show you a few more examples. And so I quite like that cool Santa vibe that we've going on here. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing for a snowman. And so this is the first generation that I've done for this one as well. And we can see what it comes up with. So straight away here, we've got a couple of really nice snowmen. It's not quite as nice as the Santa, so we are gonna generate two more. And so here we go. I really like this one, so we are gonna double click it to place it on the canvas again. And here we go. Here is a cool snowman wearing sunglasses and a hat and a scarf. So again, a really fun little image for someone to color in. So there you go. That's how easy it is to make coloring pages using Design AI. If we come onto a different style, I'll show you the differences. So if we click on the coloring book style, and we try and generate the same image that we just made, let's see what design comes up with. So each generation only tends to take a few seconds, and here we've got four really interesting images of a snowman with a lot more information on there. Now, there's a lot more going on here, and you probably just need to fix a few of the blemishes, but again, it just shows you the power of using different styles on Design AI. You don't need to like completely describe your line width, the type of coloring book style you're looking for because they've already got the presets in there. And so let's try this sketch style and see what that looks like as well. And wow, these are actually really nice. So my preference is that more clean, minimal line art style, but the sketches are actually really pretty. And this might make for a really interesting coloring book for adults, for example, you know, where they like a little bit more shading and a bit more detail because that looks like a really beautiful sketch to me and it looks like it's been drawn by hand. So I don't think you'd realize that was created by AI, which is absolutely fantastic. And it shows the power of AI as we move into 2025. So that's how you would create your coloring pages using AI. You'd use a tool like Design AI, which if you wanna try out for yourself, you can find a link in the description below. Then once you've exported the amount of images you need, which might be 30 or 50 or even 100, you then need to put them into a manuscript. 
Okay, so let's say you've got your 50 images and you wanna put them into a manuscript. You can use a free tool like Canva or even Word, or you can use a program like Adobe InDesign to put all of the pages into your manuscript. And so if I open InDesign now, I'll show you what that looks like. So all you need to do on InDesign is make sure you set up the coloring book to the right specs. This is an 8.5 by 11 inch book because that's one of the largest sizes you can do on Amazon KDP. And that makes for a nice, almost A4 size book. Now you just need to make sure your margins are set up correctly. You can find all the settings for that on Amazon KDP. And then you just need to drag and drop your pages into this book. And that's how easy it is to create a coloring book. It's literally, you make the images in Design AI, you add them to your manuscript, you export that, then you need to make a cover and then you can upload it to Amazon KDP. And so pretty much anyone can make a coloring book these days using AI, which is absolutely incredible, but also a little bit crazy. But if you've got an interest in coloring books, if you're tempted to get into Amazon KDP, or even to make one for yourself or your kids or anything like that, design is a great tool to utilize. As I showed you, it's great for creating different styles of coloring pages. You can even make like the front covers in there as well. You can make your hero images, you can make your icons, you can make your logos. Anything you need to make using AI, you can create in Design AI. So that's it for this video. I hope I've inspired you to create some high quality coloring books using AI. From my experience, the ones that aren't that high quality are gonna get negative reviews, but the ones that are higher quality, that don't have blemishes, that use a really lovely line art or sketchy style are the ones that tend to sell better on Amazon. So if you're interested in getting going with some coloring books, there's no better time than today. And that's it for this video. If you've got any questions about design or coloring books, drop them down in the comments below and I'll do my very best to get back to you. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.